If you've been learning Russian for quite some time, but still don't know how to use the word который, don't worry. My name is Alina, and today I'm going to share with you all the secrets about this word. The word который is not that simple, and its use in Russian language can be a little complicated for foreigners. But if you want to improve your level and speak Russian more naturally and fluently, you have to use this word. We always use it in compound sentences as a connector between two of its parts. For example, if you want to say something like Here is the color I like. In Russian, it's necessary to use the word который. Вот цвет, который мне нравится. As you can see, it's not necessary to use any word in English between these two parts of the sentence. Here is the color and I like. But in Russian, the word который is essential. It's not a complicated phrase, but if you don't know anything about the use of the word который, it'll sound less natural. For example, you could say Вот цвет, он мне нравится. These are two short sentences and they don't sound as good as the previous one with the word который. Or you could replace который with что. Вот цвет, что мне нравится. Also doesn't sound right. In Russian it would be a mistake and it's better not to use the word что here. Let's see how and when we use the word который. When you want to add more information about an object or a person from the first part of the sentence, you use который. Also, you can translate it as which. Here is the color which I like. Вот цвет, который мне нравится. Next part. The word который has a lot of different meanings. It's a conjunction, but it has the ending of an adjective. Ы. That's why we will change it as an adjective to. It means that it will have feminine form, которая, then neutral, которая, and plural, которая. And sentences as an example. Вот девушка, которая мне нравится, for feminine. Then, вот платье, которое мне нравится, neutral. And plural. Вот цветы, которые мне нравятся. But let's agree it would be too easy if we stopped here and it would be the only thing that you need to know about the word который. Unfortunately, I have more things to share with you. The bad news here is that as any adjective, you have to change the word который by cases too. And that's where a lot of people get stuck. They simply cannot understand how to fit this word into the phrase. In previous sentences, I used this word in nominative case, in basic form, so it wasn't that difficult. Before showing you other cases, I need to tell you a very important thing. First, you need to choose the gender of the word который. And for this, you have to look at the first part of the sentence. You have to look at the noun you're replacing. If it's a color, you take masculine, because цвет is masculine word in Russian. If it's a girl, you take feminine, because девушка, that's a feminine word. And second, when you're thinking about the case for the word который, you have to look at the second part of the sentence, at the verb you're using there. Now let's look at the examples so that you can understand it better. And the first case, genitive. Вот этот крем, которого у меня нет. First, we take masculine word, который, just because we have the word крем in the first part of the sentence, which is masculine. And in the second part of the sentence, I used genitive, которого у меня нет. As we know, у меня нет, that's a negation. And every time when you have a negation, you should use genitive. For female, the same logic. Вот эта книга, которой у меня нет. For neutral, 
Вот это кресло, которого у меня нет. And last one. Вот эти цветы, которых у меня нет. Then dative case. For mail. Где твой друг, которому ты звонил? For female. Где твоя подруга, которой ты звонил? Then neutral. Вот место, по которому я скучаю. And the last plural. Где твои друзья, которым ты написал? The next one is accusative case. And here we have to be careful for masculine form. Because sometimes it looks like nominative when you're talking about objects. And when you're talking about people or animals, it looks like gentive. But anyway, both sentences will be in accusative case. Let's look. Когда придет парень, которого ты ждешь? Которого looks like genitive because we're talking about boy, guy, парень. That's a person. Or, где телефон, который ты купил вчера? Телефон, that's an object, so that's why, который. For feminine, это та девушка, которую ты любишь? For neutral, где молоко, которое ты купил вчера? And plural, где цветы, которые ты мне подарил? Then instrumental case, for male, где твой друг, с которым ты идешь в кино? Or for female, где твоя подруга, с которой ты идешь в кино? Then neutral, посмотри на окно, рядом с которым ты стоишь. And plural. Это те ложки, которыми ты ешь. And the last case prepositional. For masculine. Это дом, в котором ты живешь. Feminine. Это машина, на которой ты ездишь. Neutral. Это окно, на котором стоят цветы. And plural. Это твои друзья, о которых ты говорил. I realize it's a little bit complicated, but all you have to do is just to practice each case separately till you perfectly remember how to use the word который. And one more time, I want to tell you this. It doesn't matter what case you use in the first part of the sentence. You always look at the second part of the sentence. My sentences were easy. I didn't use different cases in the first part. So, all of them were in nominative case. But if you need to say something like I see a girl that I like, я вижу девушку, которая мне нравится. Even though in first part of the sentence you use accusative case, in the second part it's nominative, because after I like, we always use nominative. That's it. Now you can finally use these complicated expressions and surprise people with your knowledge.